Ladies and gentlemen, there's a new Johnny on Late Night. Dak TV presents Go to Bed with Johnny. And here he is, that beautiful piece of man. That is Johnny Thomas Appleseed. Yes. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Go to Bed with Johnny. Yes, we got a lot less politics this week. So, <laughs> the end of the week, yeah, I just can't handle talking about too much of that in one week. I'll, I don't know, I'll pop a blood vessel or something. <laughs> yeah. No, but we still have quite a bit of news and uh, lots of drama to talk about. And, of course, we're going to get you up to date on some of your favorite celebrities. So, without further ado, let's jump into our first segment of today's show, which is, of course, Broken News. Yes, this is all the news that has already been broken, and I'm just uh, sharing it to your ears, you know? It's like a lovely song that you love to listen to. Me. Yeah, I am that lovely song. Okay, up first in broken news, we've got... Katy Perry, yes, oh my gosh, okay, so the last time we talked about Katy Perry, it was because of a controversy that she was involved with on American Idol when a contestant called her out for mom shaming her, yeah, it was not good, people were angry, and I just, I don't know why they cared so much, you know, it was a joke, Katy's a mother as well, but that's not what we're talking about today, Katy Perry has opened up about not being able to drink like she could in her 20s. Uh, but she also revealed that she is three months in to a sobriety pact she made with her lover, Orlando Bloom. Yes, she hasn't drank in three months. Oh my gosh. You know, she did come out with an alcohol-free uh, beverage, like a mocktail of sorts. Maybe it was a wine. I can't remember, but I know that it it is... Uh, it is free of the alcohols, so you can drink it and uh, still act like you're, you're drinking at the club. But in reality, you're not getting drunk at all. It's non-alcoholic, so you're good to go. Yeah, so uh, that's a very interesting thing that I think a lot of celebs are doing, you know. I'm not sure why they made this pact, if they were having troubles, uh, you know, trouble in paradise for Orlando and Katie. Yeah, I, I don't know, but she's three months in, and she's still going, and she, she said she's sticking with it. So, good for Katie. You know, I will not stick with that pact. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not lovers with Orlando Bloom, because there's no way I could, I could uh, you know, be sober for that long. <laughs> okay, also in the news, we've got... Olivia Wilde again, uh, and Jason Sudeikis, her ex-lover and baby daddy. Okay, uh, so they have been, uh, you know, throwing court things back and forth, fighting over custody of their children. It's a mess. It's a hot mess express. Uh, lots of drama. Olivia dated Harry Styles, and Jason just keeps rocking it on Ted Lasso. Uh, but no, apparently... Olivia seems to think that Jason wants revenge because she broke up with him. Uh, these are quotes, by the way, from someone close to them. Uh, she tries to be as respectful as possible, but it is difficult when she believes Jason uses manipulative tactics. Jason Sudeikis and Olivia Wilde are standing their ground amid their custody battle with each of them, fighting for what's best for their two children. Oh my gosh, apparently the biggest disagreement between the exes has been where their children should live. Wilde is arguing that their home should remain in L.A. with her, while Sudeikis insists their children should be in New York with him. So, that's just super messy, okay? Oh my gosh, I mean, I've never had a child, but I did have a pet turtle once with a lover. Yeah, a snapping turtle, actually. Yeah, she tried to take him, but but little old Torty, he he snapped. Yeah, he snapped right at her, bit her nose off. Yeah, she tried to sue me for that too, but, you know, joint custody of that turtle. Yeah, eventually we settled and, you know, she got him every other Friday and I had him for the rest of the... T but that's not the point. This is very different. These are children's 
real human beings that are growing and changing and aging. Uh, but no, uh, that's interesting. I don't like Olivia. I hope Jason gets the custody. I think Olivia is trying to tarnish Mr. Jason Sudeikis' reputation, which is just super, super tacky of her. You know, the things I read about Olivia, not impressed. Not impressed, Olivia. You need to change it up a little bit here. Fix your, fix your issues, okay? I don't know if I would want you to be my mother. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> well, get this. Also in the news, we've got a drummer. Yeah, who is a part of the band The Roots. Uh, they play for, for Jimmy Fallon's show and everything. This is none other than Questlove, who I believe he won an Oscar last year for a short film or a documentary. I think it was maybe a documentary. But Questlove is coming back to direct something new. Something new, but something familiar. Okay, so Questlove is set to direct the Aristocats movie musical remake for Disney. Yes! Oh my gosh, how exciting is that? Are you a fan of the Aristocats? I'm not really. I don't really care that much for that movie, but I would love to see what they do with it in live action form. And Questlove, that man, he's groovy. He can play some beats, and, you know, he knows a lot of things about music. And uh, from what I've seen and heard about his direction of that, that Oscar-winning film, he should do a fantastic job. So we're looking forward to seeing that and seeing how that goes for Mr. Questlove. But that's not the only film and TV news we got for you today, because get this, The White Lotus, yes! Spoiler alert, they killed off Jennifer Coolidge from that show, and I am not okay with it, okay? Oh my gosh. They better bring her back. They better find some way. Evil twin sister or something? I don't care. Just bring her back, okay? But that's not what we're talking about. The White Lotus was obviously renewed for season three. That's three uh, over at HBO. It was supposed to be a limited series, but it's coming back. And it has been reported that it will be set in Thailand. Oh my gosh, what are they going to do over there? And what's the theme going to be, you know? You've had the theme of the theme of just like greed and then the theme of like sex. Yeah, so what's this one going to be? That'll be very interesting to find out, and I'm excited for it. Mike White does a great job with that show. Yeah, I don't have any other broken news to share with you guys. I think it's all been broken here. So we're going to move on to our next segment of today's show, which is none other than Hyper Headlines. Oh my gosh, I know you guys love Hyper Headlines as much as me because the news comes at you really quickly uh, and I don't go too deep into it. Sometimes I get carried away when it's like one of my favorite artists or my least favorite celebrities, but I can't help that. You know, I'm still hyper while reporting it, so that's why it still works under Hyper Headlines, okay? As you can see, I'm very hyper right now and just a little chit-chattery, yeah, <laughs> you know? Anywho, Hyper Headlines, yeah. <laughs> Okay, first up in Hyper Headlines, we got a weird one for you. We're talking about meatballs. Yeah, I know. I, I didn't want to talk about it either, but this is a strange scientific thing happening. Apparently, there is a lab-grown meatball that was created with DNA from a mammoth. What? I don't even, I didn't even read into this. I'm not going to lie to you. I read the hot headline and I said, that's crazy. I'm talking about it. Okay, would you eat a meatball that was created in a lab uh, with DNA from a mammoth? You should be saving that DNA. You know, how'd you get a mammoth's DNA? They're, they're no longer here. Like the woolly, the woolly mammoth. I'm so confused. Are they trying to turn us into mammoths? Is this some weird Jurassic Park thing that they're doing with this meatball? I gotta know more. Would you eat this meatball? Let me know in the comments below because I don't think I would even let that anywhere near me. I would say you keep your lab-grown meatball far, far away. That sounds like some L.A. diet stuff happening there. I don't, I don't know if I trust it. But also in the news, we've got... Blake Lively. Yes, Blake Lively is married to uh, another actor. She's an actress and she's married to one Ryan Reynolds, who we love so much. 
He is a funny guy. He's got the jokes. He's in tons of good movies. And Blake was in XOXO Gossip Girl and some other movies. Uh, she was chased by a shark once, which I can relate. Okay, I'm always getting chased by those things. I don't know. It must be my, my manly smell, you know? That musk smell or whatever they call it. Yeah. <laughs> No, but Blake Lively is in the news because she hilariously trolled a fan at a soccer game uh, for the Wrexham game where she trolled a fan. Uh, she was at that game because her and her husband are co-owners with uh, Rob McElhenney. Uh, and while she was walking around uh, the race course ground in Wales, greeting fans, saying hello, hey, what's up? Uh, one fan held his phone out recording her and said, Hey, can you say hi to my girlfriend? Said her name. And then, uh, and then Blake said, Hi, you should leave him. <laughs> Just roasted this man. And he kind of laughs behind the camera, but I know once he shut off that recording, he was like, Wait a minute. That's not what I, that's not what I asked for. At all, actually. But no, uh, Blake Lively, she's keeping the jokes alive. Her and Ryan, they like to, to roast each other on the public forum. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, they're always just, you know, making jokes and uh, just hurting each other's egos. And I respect that. I love it. That keeps them grounded. And I think that's why people like them. You know, they're some of the, the, the lesser of the, the problematic uh, celebrities out there in the world, which we need more of that, honestly. Take notes, celebs. <laughs> also in the news, we've got Drew Barrymore. Oh my gosh. Now this, this, this woman is just an American treasure. Drew, she's been like blessing our screens since she was a child. You know, E.T., she's the little sister on E.T. We love that. And she's worked with Adam Sandler many times, which we're talking about now, because Adam Sandler's other leading lady, Jennifer Aniston and Adam, were both on the Drew Barrymore talk show. Uh, and right at the beginning of this interview, Drew starts going, whew, I'm very warm. <laughs> Whew, I'm sweating, you know? And you'd think you would know if it was from the lights because you're doing that every day. So you know it's not the lights. It's something else. And she said, you know, I think I'm having my first hot flash <laughs> right now on TV. Yeah, it's happening. And, you know, Jenna Aniston and uh, Adam Sandler were sitting there and they're like, oh, do we make a joke? Is this real? What's happening? Uh, yeah, and she was just so excited uh, for that milestone moment to happen during the interview on camera. Uh, she was so thrilled that it was captured. But yeah, that's just interesting. I, I'll, I'll probably never get a hot flash. Sometimes I feel sweaty randomly. Uh, usually it's when I see my phone is ringing and it's my liar of a mother. Yeah, I start sweating. Yeah, or an ex-lover. You know, if Imeldehyde called me, that'd be very concerning because she is no longer with us. And that is, that is a long distance call to beyond the grave. And I don't, I can't pay for that. I can't afford that. Okay, so don't even try to reach out to me, okay? <laughs> but yeah, so uh, obviously Adam and uh, Jen Ann were there promoting their new movie together, which is Murder Mystery 2. And, uh, you know, I'm excited to see it. It comes out on Friday, so uh, I'll have to check it out and give you my, my review. Johnny, Johnny will judge it. Johnny's judgment uh, will let you know whether or not they they stick with their high level of entertainment, those two. They do crack me up. I do like them together, but I also like him with Drew. And now they're plotting a movie with all three of them, which I would love to see, okay? Oh, my gosh. Well, shoot, that's, that's all the news that I got for you guys this week. The second half of the week, uh, not a lot of celeb news, you know. Not as many Miley Cyrus is making Jenna's sisters cry. Not as many Selena Gomez is making her fans stop sending hateful messages. Not, not as many congressmen making me, well, they're all, they are still making me pretty angry. But I'm not getting into it. Like I said, my therapist said, don't do it too much. You'll pop something. Yeah, like like a valve in my heart or something. I don't know. It's a scary world out here, okay? 
<laughs> yeah, but obviously I can't let you go without finding out what's in my drawers. Just pretend that was a piano and I was playing some sort of intro music, okay? Okay, here we go. What is it? Oh my gosh. This is perfect because I was just talking about Mr. Jason Sudeikis and look at this. We got a mug here from Mr. Ted Lasso himself. He sent it to me. He loves me. Yeah. Uh, no, Mr. Ted says, uh, you know what animal has the shortest memory uh, of all? It's a goldfish. So be a goldfish. You know, if something bad happens, forget about it. Ten second memory. Just go with it. Yeah, so I, I hope Mr. Jason Sudeikis is taking his own advice right now in the world. And, you know, he's being a goldfish because Olivia Wilde's out here just slamming him in the press. And uh, Jason hasn't had to say anything because people actually like Jason. Uh, whereas Olivia, not so much. But yeah, look at this. I'm like double fisting. Go to bed with Johnny and be a goldfish. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what would you be if you were an animal? Obviously, we would all want to be a goldfish and have that 10 second memory, and you'd be able to swim all the time. Who doesn't love swimming until they prune up? Yeah. I, I personally love a good dip in the pool and a trip to the spa. Okay, I am not Sharpe. Uh, no, but I hope that's some good advice that you can follow and take with you everywhere. You know, Ted has a lot of great advice. Season 3 of Ted Lasso is going on right now, and I am loving it. It's a little more serious than the last seasons, but it was, it was going down that path already. I hope the good conquers the evil. Am I right? Yeah, just keep being a goldfish, Ted. I keep reminding myself when people make me angry, I just got to forget about it and move on. I wish more people would learn that. They just hold so many grudges and it makes them so irritable. They're so hard to be around. You know, they're angry people all the time. Just let it go, you know? It's just let it go. Flush it and let it swim into the ocean. Am I right? Yeah. That's what I did with my pet goldfish. Yeah. Yeah, his name was Tony. Yeah, he had to, he had to go out with the rest of his fish family. He was floating upside down, though, which I thought was strange, but my mother said it was normal and natural, and he just missed his home, so that's why we had to flush him. Yeah. Well, anywho, that's all the news that I got for you guys. That's all the things in my drawers. Uh, just a goldfish in there this time. <laughs> oh, that would be very bad. Fish out of water? Not good. It looks like this. Yeah, it's a scary sight, you know? I don't like that. That's kind of how the congressmen look, honestly. They look like fish out of water. They've been out of water for too long. They're getting droopy and bony, yeah. So that's all the news I got for you guys. I will see you next week with a whole bunch of brand new news. I'm sure things are going to get crazy. I feel like something's coming. I feel it in my anchor bones. You get it? Anchor bones? Because I'm like a news anchor kind of talk show host. I feel it in those bones. Yeah, you know? Maybe it's just my food digesting too, but I, I feel something. It's something's coming. Something big, I feel like. So I gotta keep an eye out. You know, if you hear something and you want me to know about it, you better leave it in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and you know, follow me on all social media so I can interact with you guys and, you know, read my hater comments. Yeah. Well, I will see you guys next week. Thanks for joining me. Good night, everybody. Good night. Oh, my gosh. You know, this would have been the perfect home for Mr. Tony. I could have just plopped him in there, and then if he ever forgot who he was, he could just peek his little head over the top, kind of like that fish in Cat in a Hat, and he could just read it and say, Oh, that's right. I'm, I'm being a goldfish. That's what I am. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Ted Lasso, for this, this lovely gift.